I'm making hearth steel today. I have two pounds of scrap here. This is all bloomery iron that I've smelted myself. So I'm going to take all of the scrap and melt it down into a charcoal hearth. I will get the charcoal hot enough to liquefy my scrap iron. Then I will start putting the scraps in and I will layer charcoal and scrap. And as it burns down, the metal will melt and it will pool at the bottom of the hearth. Now down in the bottom of the hearth, there's not a lot of oxygen. So the charcoal will create carbon monoxide and that carbon monoxide will surround the liquid iron as it's pooling at the bottom of the hearth. And the liquid iron will absorb carbon, become steel. It'll also burn out a lot of the impurities. The slag will melt out and collect around the metal. So when I pull the puck out of the fire, I'll be able to hammer all of the slag off and I'll have a very pure high carbon steel. As I keep hammering, the slag is now mostly gone, and the metal is starting to weld together. It's very hot, and forge welding is easy. So I flatten it out into a large, round disc of metal, and then start to fold it over on itself. I hammer the fold together and now I'm forge welding up the seam. The metal is very delicate at this stage. All of the pieces are still deciding that they want to be together. I'm going to keep hammering this until it is no longer hot enough for the metal to weld together. And once it's too cool to keep welding, I'll take it over to the belt grinder and we'll see from the sparks just how much carbon we've put into this steel. Now we'll take it over to the grinder and, ah, oh, that's a lot of carbon. What a beautiful piece of hearth steel.